It's, it's, what, 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 what all movies did you see already? I done seen Nope. Uh -huh. I seen Beast. I okay. saw the Black Phone, which I like the Black Phone. I, I heard people. I heard a lot of people like that. I shit. actually cried at when I watched the Black Phone. Really? The end. I gotta watch that. It made me cry because you know I got gifts, and people be thinking you crazy because you got oh, gifts. Oh, okay, okay. And the girl kept saying, but I, you know, that shit made me cry. It really did. Because I heard a lot of people say that the, the phone, the black phone was really good. The black phone was good. They fucked that motherfucking nigga up. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> but the new, the note. So the Beast. Beast is a movie by Will Packer. That's the one with uh, Idris Alba. In uh huh. Idris, thick ass Idris. <laughs> <laughs> Thick ass, black ass Idris. <laughs> I bet that dick ain't good. How do you know? I don't know. I would. <laughs> <laughs> so Will Packer uh -huh. made Beast. Okay. And Jordan Peele made nope. the note. Yeah. There's two colored <clears throat> movies. Two colored movies that I went to see. I also saw the black phone. I saw uh it's some other stuff I saw, which I was watching movies, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like to do. For me, I like Nope. I just was so confused that, 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 that they turned the alien into that duvet cover. <laughs> I said, now why in the fuck? Dude, Jordan Peele got this big, pretty duvet cover blowing in the air, eating people. You you know what a duvet? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I know what a duvet. So wait, the alien was a duvet cover. It was a duvet cover. Nice duvet, looked like a parachute, but it was a duvet cover. I would have just eat people. I would have laid that shit on my bed. It was pretty. <laughs> it was real pretty, you know. So I'm just sitting up there like, nah, I'm, I was watching this shit. And y'all should have done seen, Nope been out for a while. So y'all should have seen the movie by motherfucking night, goddammit. So it started off like a, I thought it was a, a spaceship. Uh -huh. But then I'm looking at the shit blowed out. It, it just blew out into a duvet cover. So so that whole thing that was like <laughs> making a big ass shadow was a whole alien. A duvet cover. This shit looked like it came from Bad Bath and Beyond. <laughs> So in my brain, I'm thinking like, well, maybe the motherfucking ass, maybe his motherfucking ass had a real bad experience in the bed. <laughs> As a child, and the cover probably smothered his ass in the coat. <laughs> or maybe he has some damn big bad experience with some expensive sheets. Because I'm like, why in the fuck did the thing, the shit just turned into a whole blowing ass fucking cover? I swear, I thought it was a spaceship. And I thought the bitch was a spaceship too until the bitch just expanded and when the blowing and flowing, I said, what the fuck is going on? This shit look like parachute. But then I'm like, now parachute ain't this pretty. <laughs> this is some covers. These are some very expensive duvet covers. Because it's heavy. <laughs> it was doing all that. I'm like, shit, I... I came home, I slept on the sofa. <laughs> you ain't trust your duvet after that? I slept on the sofa. I was like, bitch, I ain't gonna get swallowed up. <laughs> Cause it was just like, damn, and it was eating horses and shit. It was just like, you know, Jordan Peele movies make you think about a lot of stuff. They do, they do. So it really had me thinking like, damn, this is a whole bed in the bag. <laughs> Just a whole motherfucking bed in the bag from outer space that eats horses <laughs> and shit. I don't know. Go see it. And then I still you, gotta see it. Yeah, you go it. see it. Go watch it because he colored. You know, I support my color folks. Oh, yeah, I still would. I always wanted to watch it, but I haven't had the time to go and watch it. So I'm going. Nah, when I watched, when I watched Beast. Uh huh. Okay. Was that good? Okay. I guess. It was good. I just wish they would have spent a little bit more money. 
Mo, you from Africa. <laughs> And so I can talk to you about these things. Okay. I want to see where this is going. So let's go. <laughs> Mo, uh -huh. you go out there and you get mauled by a lion. You uh -huh. ain't gonna get you ain't gonna be able to run on both of your legs. No. If the lion right. jumped down on one of your legs, oh, I'll go. and you got some thick legs. <laughs> if a lion whose jaws is like this chomp down on your leg, it's gone. It's gone. Right. This nigga got up, ran, kicked the lion, rolled. The lion jumped on his back. I mean, sunk teeth down in this nigga's back. I, I've been on, I've been on line following those pages where they had the animals eating other animals. Yeah. And I watched them animal. I watched a lion sink his teeth down into a fucking zebra, into another a cheetah. I don't see lions sink their teeth down, and they can't escape. No, no. You a nigga, a black nigga. <laughs> you might be a fine black nigga. If a lion clamps down on your way on your leg, you're not gonna just be walking on no cane. You ain't gonna have no leg. Right. I so I really wish they would have spent more money on the special effects so that we could have really oh, seen okay. the leg get ripped off. Cause I was watching the people, I see I, they all had scratches. Ain't no big 500 pound not, motherfucking no, line. No you ain't laying on with no scratch. No, nah, you're not covered with this. Not the way that nigga. And he took this knife. It was like a, it was a knife. It, it, it was almost the size of a butter knife. You lie. He took that knife from screen two, not screen one. <laughs> he had that knife from screen two. Because the knife from screen one was, was big. big. It was big, yeah. The knife from screen two, they was running around. I was like, this butter knife, these hoes screaming at this butter knife going there. <laughs> I'd have whooped that nigga ass in that cape. He's, you raised this butter knife. He had the knife from screen two and sticking it in the motherfucking lion. And the lion over there like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I'm like, I want to believe this, uh -huh. but I don't. I don't. <laughs> and I just really want people to understand if you color and you go out, if you color from America, I'm not talking about more kind of color because see, more don't know, more people don't know nothing about being brought over here. They was out, they they still over there. What do you mean? And Mo got his original last name. He don't have our <laughs> Mo don't have our colonizer's last name. He don't have it. <laughs> see, I'm a Hinton. Somebody <laughs> own my people's. <laughs> Mo is an Omalawo. What? <laughs> Omala. That's my first name. What's your last name, Mo? Jerusha. That's right. <laughs> and see, <laughs> nobody owns Mo Peak, so they don't know. So I'm not talking about those colors. I'm talking about the colors that's from America. Go over there and fuck with a lion if you want to. Watch that movie and go over there and think you can fuck with a lion and get up like that nigga. It's only in the movie and only in that movie. Go over there with you a scream two knife if you want to. That butter knife they had him. I'll fuck you up. That you have to prove to me you can kill me. You have to prove to me if you can kill me. Mo, let me tell you something. You 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 from Africa. You ain't going out there in no lions den like oh, that. No, you know better. No, you know better. It's the Jim and Shy in you that know better. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to disencourage y'all to go see bees. Um, you say please review She Hawk. I watched it. For me, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's I, I, it's indulgent. They try to make everything so comical. Yeah, I watched She Hawk. I'm gonna watch it again before I say some. <laughs> <laughs> The first two episodes so far, they're deep. it's deep. It's two episodes? Yeah, two episodes. Oh, I got to watch. I'm going to go upstairs and watch it when I get through yeah. there. So it's two episodes. Yeah, there's two episodes. I yeah, watch. For me, it, it just feels like it, it started off kind of slow. So It did. I, you know. I, just like I watched Obi-Wan Kenobi. How would you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go to your favorite, though. House of Dragons. What you think? I watched the House of the Dragon. 
I need to see episode two. I waited for that too. I waited for that too. I'm a super fan of that shit. So by me being a super fan of that, I needed it. it just is it was it's, it's it was dry. Yeah, because you know, uh, but they, they Game of Thrones started off. It started off crazy. The first episode started off from crazy. the dome. Yeah. So I I actually sit in there and I watched. I watched it three, four times because I've been like, I'm trying to get excited about it, and I think maybe. What they shouldn't have did for me, for me, but it's just it's just for me. They was really relying on just the dragon, you know, the dragon yeah. flying and you know this kind of stuff. Like, but, but then you got to realize that we was looking at they they in the time of the dragon. True. true. So you know we are gonna see more of the dragons. You know how the the the, uh, the Game of Thrones, the dragon was the <gasps> you know like oh my god, it's dragon. It took so many episodes to get to the dragon. Yeah, but this in the House of Dragon, like okay, we living in the time of the dragon. I just needed some more stuff going, and I didn't. I did not like them cutting off them people's dicks. Oh yeah, I got real. I was hurt, and I was sitting on the sofa like, ooh. I crossed my legs. I crossed my legs twice. I crossed my legs. Shit, I I uncrossed them, crossed them again, (laughs) crossed them again. I said, ooh, shit. Oh my god, how can I live without my (laughs) queenie? I was over there sobbing. Yeah, that was that got me. That got me. Man, they would, they would chop them dicks like shot. The men said, "Oh, ah, ah. was nothing." I was like, "Oh, oh, you so y'all know I don't want no fucking sex change." <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I almost went paralyzed looking at them. Now my back got stiff. I... <sighs> you know, I, oh Jesus, that's what I was saying. I was just, I can't live without my guidi. <laughs> Queenie, oh Lord, take me right now. I can't live without my queenie. <laughs> Bitch. So that shit, that, now that fucked with me. That did, that did fuck with me. I'm not going to lie. Like, but that was the only gory, no, no, except for when um, he, when she was having a baby. Oh yeah, they cut her open. They cut her open. Yeah. Um, uh, and also when when uh, they was out there doing the jousting, not the, the, jousting. the, the yeah, you know the when jousting, they was fighting, yeah. and, you know. But it's still like I really needed to give. I really wanted. I really expected more. Like no shade HBO. I really expected more. Like I was expecting more something. It was like something like you can't we, you can't be all like something was missing. You can't be off season for, with Game of Thrones all them years and then come back like that. Like you need to come back with a bitch like girl. Girl, now I did like Drew Harris. I was waiting, Drew Harris. You know, I was okay. Yeah. You know, but I need to see episode two. Yeah, that's what I waited for. That's what I waited for. Hopefully, I think I'm I'm, I'm hoping that episode two is going to be more. Uh... Yeah, it was kind of like for me, like what Insecure did when Insecure came back. Okay. Okay. I was like. They need to get another writer. 